Hello and welcome back. Today's video is one that I'm really excited about just because it is essentially an ode to my mother. With Mother's Day coming up, I know many of you will be celebrating with your loved ones, with your mother figures in your life, or maybe with your children. I thought that it would be nice to reflect on some of the outfits my late mother wore and sort of try and replicate them in my own way using items from my closet. So I thought this could be fun. My mum was incredibly stylish. She just had impeccable taste. And this is something that I can see it's been a consistent theme. And it's also worth noting when you see some of these photos, it might give you a bit of context as to why I always look a little bit more dressed up than I need to be. It's because she was always dressed to the nines. It didn't matter what she was doing. This this photo and unfortunately I just really have anything that quite would match it where it's my fourth birthday party and she is wearing this oversized blazer with a sheer panel cut out to it and then a pair of really beautiful white tailored trousers I mean to her daughter's birthday party I, I love it it was really extra anyway we're gonna dive right in I'm really excited to also be partnering with Linya on this video which is one of my favorite jewelry brands. It is female founded. They have so many amazing eco-conscious initiatives. They use recycled gold and recycled silver. They source all of their gemstones ethically. All of their packaging is recyclable. They offset carbon emissions. And my favorite part is that they also utilize lab grown diamonds throughout their entire diamond range. And now they're extending the lab grown range to include emeralds. So I have a couple of new pieces to share with you. I'm going to be styling up their jewelry through that as I replicate my mum's looks through this video. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of a close up of these two new pieces. So we have the Mila lab grown emerald ring and this has emeralds on it which are all kind of in a gradient which is really really pretty. It's quite subtle. And I've stacked that with a thin dome ring and both of these rings are in the 14 karat gold. So you know that when you're investing in these pieces they're going to last you a lifetime and then some. I mean these would make a really beautiful gift to give to a mother or a daughter or even for yourself. The thing I love about lab grown gemstones is that they're 100% ethical and conflict free but they are exactly the same chemically, physically and aesthetically as the real thing. Emeralds are really special because they're among one of the four most globally recognized precious stones along with rubies, sapphires and diamonds and the great thing about lab grown emeralds is that they contain fewer or no inclusions. A mined emerald will have inclusions or variations in the stone. So there will be these little imperfections that you get with a mined gemstone. And you may not know this but emeralds are actually rarer and sometimes more expensive than diamonds. Probably one of the most expensive pieces of emerald jewelry would have to be Elizabeth Taylor's emerald necklace. I'll put a photo on screen. This sold for 6.58 million dollars. That's $280,000 per carat. Linya is launching a handful of really beautiful pieces as part of this lab grown emerald collection and will all be available to purchase from tomorrow, the 23rd of April, in case you want to set your alarm and go and check it out. But I do want to mention that they have a sale on right now for Mother's Day and I am going to have my promo code on screen as well as down in the description box because you can always save a little bit extra and I will have links to everything that I'm wearing down there as well. But as you know, my Linya pieces have just really stood the test of time. It's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to them again and again. I think I've been wearing their jewelry for about seven years now. Okay, so onto the outfits and we're going to start with look one, which is a monochromatic outfit. And I think this might have been taken at the Botanical Gardens. I'm not 100% sure, but there's a little baby Jamie in there. <laughs> now, mum is wearing a full on red tonal outfit. Maybe this is where I get my love of tonal looks from, but it looks phenomenal on her. This color really suits her. And there are a few takeaways that I got from this. So one is the tonal outfit. So wearing the same color top and bottom. Two, cinched in at the waist. She's actually wearing a belt and I'm not gonna do that when I replicate it, but it helps to really define the waist, which I think is sort of an important part of the styling here. She's also wearing a light colored shoe. And then you can see that her one key statement piece of jewelry are her earrings. She's got these really big statement earrings. I didn't really have anything that quite met the criteria of wearing red. So I opted for blues in this case. So I'm taking away that monochromatic essence and I'm imbuing it with my own personal touch. So we've got this blue oversized t-shirt, which kind of feels a little bit similar to what she was wearing. And I've paired that with a really lovely slip skirt. And honestly, the colors of these two pieces basically are identical and you can see here because the t-shirt is boxy and oversized it creates that shape where it's kind of pinched in at waist 
For the shoes, I don't really have any white shoes. I often find them quite cloying to my eye when I wear them, so I've gone with a really light grey pointed toe flat. Mum looked like she was wearing a closed toe shoe in the photo. The bag that I chose for this outfit was a little crossbody bag, but I've swapped out the crossbody for a shoulder strap, which I think works really well. It's in a black, so it gives a little bit of contrast to the outfit. She doesn't actually have her bag showing in any of these outfits. I would say she probably used the same bag the entire time because she was never someone who focused on handbags. She always had this love of boots and then just coats and just really lovely tailoring in general. And then for the linear pieces, so I've kind of tried to play it up with the earrings, wearing these lovely silver earrings with the pearl drop detail. I think these are absolutely beautiful. The earrings I'm wearing my second piercing are actually lab grown diamonds, which have the silver backing. And then I also wanted to add in some embellishment on my wrist as well. So I've gone with mixed metals here. I'm wearing my watch and then I'm also wearing the half tennis bracelet, which has the chain detail on the other side and the silver with the blue stones helps to tie it in with the rest of the outfit. Okay, look number two, I think this is an example it really personifies how my mum was always going the extra mile when it came to getting dressed no matter where she was going here she's at the blue mountains and it's funny because i have seen a photo of her standing and she's not wearing sneakers i'm pretty sure she's wearing a ballet flat <laughs> but she's got this beautiful pale pink button-up blouse and she's tucked that into some slim fitting jeans she was there it was when my uncle had come to sydney and this is just a really classic combination you can kind of see i actually also think that she's got a little tie around her neck as well so to kind of bring in that element so for one i've got a linen shirt i don't have anything in a pale pink so i've gone with just a classic white one that i've buttoned all the way up i normally wouldn't go with the styling because i find that an open neck on a blouse tends to suit me a little bit better but in order to kind of bring in that sense of having something else around the collar, I've worn my 14 karat gold necklace from Linnea with the birthstone charms, which I have signifying my son and my daughter's birth months. I wanted to modernize it a little bit with the jeans, but also have that sense of nostalgia. So I've gone with my wide leg jeans from Koto. This is a sailor style. And then for shoes, I'm wearing the same ones as the previous outfit in the light Great. The jewellery notes I went with from Linnea are for earrings the 14 karat gold Huggies and then I've paired those next to the Moonstone earrings which are just one of my favourites to wear. And then for rings the emerald ring which just looks stunning paired with that dome ring. And then also the Evelina ring as well which is one of my favourites and it has this real vintage feeling to it, old worldly I would describe it as. Finally I finished this off with my little Strathbury grey bag to tie into the grey element of the shoes. The third outfit of mums that I'm replicating is more of an athleisure look, a really kind of relaxed downtime outfit. This is probably one of the more relaxed outfits I've ever seen her in, even in real life and also in any photo. So she's on a boat and she's really channeling Princess Diana in this outfit. So she's kind of got this collegiate sweatshirt. She has the stirrup leggings, which I mean, mum, how cool. And then she's wearing the ballet flats. Now, I personally don't have any stirrup leggings, so instead I decided to kind of just bring in a regular legging and then add in that element of the stirrup with a Mary Jane ballet flat instead. And I think this works really, really nicely. And I personally quite like the way that I do have that visual break there in the outfit. I've gone with a super oversized sweatshirt here. This one is really fun. My daughter is absolutely obsessed with this because she loves meows so much. <laughs> it's one of my favorites to wear when I just want to feel very, very comfortable. And I like the fact that it's really long too, so it covers my hips, but I can always sort of scrunch it up a little bit if I wish. The bag is a really nice kind of oversized bucket bag in a burgundy color. And I think this adds in a little bit of softness because it is that high contrast element of the white sweatshirt and the black leggings. I kept the jewelry really simple because it feels like the outfit is doing all the talking here. So I'm wearing the white topaz flower studs. These are the Larissa studs and the 14 karat gold. And then I also have those 14 karat gold huggies as well with the baguette cut stones. And I think that just adds in that little element of glint glimmer and sparkle around my face. The next outfit is an all black look and I really love this photo because it's three generations of one image and you know me with the two women who helped raise me which I love and so mum here is wearing all black. She's got a black kind of mock neck turtleneck 
long sleeve fitted top which she's paired with a pencil skirt and then she's belted at the waist with this black leather kind of obi style belt from what I can tell and I think I know which belt this was. I sometimes feel like there's just a bit too much fabric too close to my face when I'm wearing a mock neck or a turtleneck especially in a dark color where it creates a huge amount of contrast. So I've gone with a crew neck merino long sleeve top. This is the Arquette one, cause to a similar one, but they are brilliant if you've been on the fans. Then I have tucked that into a black pencil skirt from Goelia, and I think this is almost sold out, so I'm gonna link some alternatives that are really good options instead of this. To kind of play into that idea of highlighting the waist with the leather belt, I'm wearing my Alexander McQueen double belt here. So this does add in this element of silver and I don't mind mixing my metals because when I talk about my jewelry, you'll see that I've really focused on gold jewelry. When it came to shoes, I can't see at all what shoes my mum was wearing. However, I can probably 99.9% .9 guarantee that they were a pair of knee high black boots because she loved her knee high boots especially in the winter time so I've worn my Arquette ones these have a little bit of a western feel to them they feel kind of modern edgy fun I love them and they're so comfortable and then when it came to jewelry I was thinking a little bit about the fact that she's wearing this to the office so I've worn a snake chain bracelet over my knit because then that adds this element of glimmer and also contrast on the sleeve then I've worn my birthstone charm necklace as well to give that a little bit of color and a sparkle around the face and then very simple gold hoops these are the Joran hoops one of my favorites and then of course when it came to rings I went with lots of sparkle here because I think we talk a lot with our hands and I kind of like that element of there being lots of sparkle dazzling light when we are being really quite animated when we are speaking Oh, and I almost forgot the bag. This one is from Monroe, and personally, I think that this is a really good alternative to the Rose Margot bag, which is just criminally expensive. So that is the fourth look, and that brings us on to the fifth and final outfit. And I mean, again, I think this really it demonstrates how extra my mum was when it came to getting dressed, because while the outfit itself looks quite chill, if you glance down at her feet, you will see she is wearing heels. She is wearing high heels and she is carrying my bassinet. I mean, mum, honestly, you are a champion. I never could have, never. So <laughs> I decided to kind of style this in my own way. So first of all, let's break down the outfit. So she's wearing this kind of beige V-neck sweater and then she's got the camel colored pants and then the black shoes. And I decided to kind of go for that color spectrum with my outfit as well. So we have here, the big oversized cardigan that I've worn just as a sweater and the reason being that I don't really like a v-neck that is cut too high up. I like it when it exposes a lot more of my chest. Personally this is my own preference and being someone who's very small chested it works well for me. I've worn that loose. I probably could have done a little half tuck in the front but I decided to go loose for this look to keep it feeling really casual and relaxed. The pants are from Uniqlo. These are a cotton tapered trouser. They don't really pull or scrunch up around the ankle like hers do here but I think you're getting that same sort of effect, that same idea of the outfit from this combination. Then the shoes, I mean I'm not going to wear a high heel with this, it's just not practical for me. So I've opted for a little low block heel ballerina. So I've got that extra little bit of height. I'm mimicking the color palette and then of course tying that into my bag so that I am kind of adhering to that concept of the three color rule. I've only got three colors here. We've got the cream, we've got the tan, and then we've got the black. So black bag which is a little bit slouchy and it really sort of leans into that very relaxed vibe that She's at least portraying from kind of the pants up. <laughs> and I have to say, when I looked at the jewelry, one of my favorite parts is that she's wearing these beautiful white pearls. So I've gone with my linear pearl necklace and then I've also brought the pearls in with the earrings, one of my favorite earrings from them, the Matilde earring. I've been wearing these for years. Then of course, just wearing my little Larissa studs, keeping it very simple so that pearl earring is more of a highlight, my Evelina ring, my new emerald ring, and then also the dome ring sort of separated on different fingers. So that is the final outfit and oh my gosh for this video so much fun to put together. I just loved going back down memory lane looking at all of these old images of my mum, my grandparents, me as a little kid. It just stirred up so many fond memories for me and just 
an enjoyable and great childhood so I'm forever thankful to mum for that and I really you know I wish she was here today because I think she would love this video so much I think she would be so honored I think she would love that I was creating video centered all around her so I'm getting really emotional um, but thank you to Linnea for working with me on this and for really inspiring this video and as mentioned they do have their Mother's Day sale so I am going to have all the details for that on screen linked down in the description box below if you want to treat yourself if you want to treat a loved one, a mother figure in your life, I think now is really kind of the perfect time to do so. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you got some ideas and also just some takeaways on how you can draw inspiration from an outfit without necessarily replicating it exactly. And if you are new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you back. But just to say, I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some of your day with me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon and have the best week ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye.